I've always lived alone, and I liked it that way. There was a certain peace that came with having my own space, a quiet comfort in knowing I didn't have to answer to anyone when I got home. My apartment wasn't much, just a small place on the fourth floor of an old building, but it was mine. The kind of place where you could hear the floor creak as you walked, where the pipes rattled at odd hours, and the walls were thin enough to catch the occasional sound of my neighbors talking or watching TV. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. One night, about six months after moving in, something changed. I was in bed, scrolling through my phone, ready to drift off to sleep, when I heard it. Three soft knocks, not on my door, but from the inside of my apartment. Tap, tap, tap. I sat up, startled. The sound came from the wall near the window, where there shouldn't have been anything to knock on. I stared into the darkness for a moment, listening, but the sound didn't come again. I convinced myself it was nothing, probably the pipes or the building settling, the usual noises that come from an old place. I tried to push it out of my mind, but that night I didn't sleep well. The next night, it happened again. I was just starting to doze off when I heard it. Tap, tap, tap. It was clearer this time, louder. Again, it seemed to come from the wall near the window, like someone was knocking from inside the wall itself. I turned on the light, heart pounding, and checked the room. There was nothing, no sign of anyone, no explanation for the sound, just silence, thick and unnerving. I tried to tell myself it was just my imagination, that maybe I was half asleep and hearing things that weren't there. But the next few nights, the knocking continued, always three knocks, always from the same spot. I started feeling uneasy in my own apartment. During the day, everything was fine, normal even. But at night, as soon as the sun went down, the atmosphere shifted. It felt like the walls were watching me like there was something just beneath the surface waiting for me to notice. A week later, the knocking changed. It was late, around midnight, and I was sitting on the couch watching TV when the knocks came again. But this time, they weren't soft. They were sharp, insistent, like someone pounding on the wall, demanding to be let in. My heart raced as I muted the TV and listened. Tap, tap, tap. I stood up, my pulse quickening. The knocks were so loud now, so deliberate, that they echoed through the apartment. I grabbed my phone, ready to call the landlord, but just as I was about to dial, the knocking stopped. The silence that followed was suffocating. I didn't sleep that night. The next day, I asked my neighbors if they heard anything strange. None of them had. They all gave me the same puzzled looks, insisting that they hadn't heard a thing. I even asked the landlord to check the pipes, thinking that maybe there was some kind of issue with the building's plumbing, but he found nothing. I tried to ignore it. I tried to convince myself it was just the building, that old places made strange noises, and there was nothing to worry about. But every night, the knocking came back, and every night, it grew louder, closer, until one night, it didn't come from the wall. It came from the window. I was in bed, staring at the ceiling, unable to sleep, when I heard the first knock, not from the wall, but from the glass on the window itself. Three slow, deliberate taps. My breath caught in my throat, and I slowly turned to look. There, standing just outside the window, was a figure, a silhouette barely visible in the darkness, standing on a narrow ledge four stories up. It wasn't possible. No one could be standing out there, but the figure didn't move, didn't flinch. It just stood there, staring in through the glass, as if it had been watching me for hours. I couldn't see its face, just the outline of a person, tall and thin, with their head slightly tilted. And then, slowly, it raised a hand and knocked again. Tap, tap, tap. My heart pounded in my chest as I sat frozen in bed, staring at the figure, I wanted to scream, to move, to do something, but I couldn't. The figure didn't try to open the window. It didn't move closer. It just knocked, over and over, waiting for me to react. Finally, I forced myself to move. I grabbed my phone from the nightstand, my hands shaking as I dialed 911. 
The operator's voice came through the line, but I couldn't speak. All I could do was stare at the figure, its shadowy hand still resting against the glass, knocking in the same steady rhythm. Then, just as suddenly as it had appeared, the figure stepped back into the darkness. One moment it was there, the next it was gone. The police arrived within minutes, but by then there was no trace of anyone. The window was locked from the inside, the ledge outside was too narrow for anyone to stand on, and there were no fire escapes or balconies nearby. The officers checked the building, but they found nothing. No signs of forced entry, no footprints on the ledge, nothing. I moved out the next day. But sometimes, even in my new place, far away from that apartment, I still hear it, late at night, just as I'm drifting off to sleep. Tap, tap, tap.